Welcome to another exciting edition of Travel Guide. If you are new here consider subscribing. Today we will be visiting the Walt Disney Concert Hall Los Angeles. The interior is beautiful, and you can hear the drop of a needle from the farthest seat away from the ensemble because of the way it is designed. Even if you don't go to a concert, you have a lot to see, the building is unique, and there is a cafeteria inside, and restrooms if you are walking tourist, and yay. Angelique Kitsch after the intermission, more than 100 musicians including two harps, piano, and pipe organ set on the stage, two caterpillar-like huge black speakers hanging from the ceiling, captioning projectors glowing, it will be something big happening. 12. Lodger, from the music of David Bowie, and Brian Eno world premiere, law fill commission with generous support from Lenoris, the surrounding gardens, and areas give you a sense of tranquility and calmness right in the middle of the urban landscape. Get out, and watch from a TV listening area if you don't have the discipline of shutting your kid up during a performance. It is a great place to appreciate the structure as a unique building between art, and modern it worth the visit. If you are a student, make sure to take advantage of student rush tickets. 20 for La Phil, and 10 for Lamp is a steal, and attending performances here should be a regular habit for any music student in SoCal. Excellent food and service with a varied, and interesting wine selection, but the martinis really rock. This is a lovely place for a romantic dinner date. Beautiful building. They have awesome light projections on the outside of the building so even if you aren't going for a concert it's still a beautiful building to visit. Didn't go in, but it is definitely a site of its own. Very beautiful, and intricate architecture, and hope to go back to watch a show soon. Parking is a flat rate 9 at Disney Concert Hall and venue tickets are much more expensive than the Hollywood Bowl. Absolutely magnificent architecture, and ambience. Regardless of where you sit, the sound is amazing. Could place more concession stands for upper seating. The ushers can use a bit more training along with audience members making better decisions on getting to their seats from the closet aisle. You can have a free tour for all of the Music Center every day at 12.30 p.m. in front of Walt Disney Concert Hall. It's a nice place to spend at least an hour. If you walk on the side of the building, you will find a nice park. This is an incredible building, one of the highlights of Los impressive skyline. Make sure you go up onto the roof garden when you visit it's free. There was a line at every restroom, and the ladies line by the cafe had at least 12 ladies waiting out the door. You will not be disappointed by the magnitude and postmodernist take on a public infrastructure. This is a declaration that art, music, and... Architecture fluidly flows into one another with a lot of drama, and cohesion. Definitely a must visit for music lovers. The La Phil sounds great, but the smaller ensembles, and solo recitals are probably a better deal better seat availability for lower prices. Acoustics are very clean, except if Terry someone talking with a microphone, in which case it sounds very muddy, and unintelligible. If you go to Disney Hall be sure to go outside on the third floor where they have a garden park that wraps around the exterior of the building. Home to the Los Angeles Philharmonic, the Symphony Hall resembles the hull of a ship, with its Douglas fur-lined walls, and ceiling emanating a warm ambience. The acoustics inside the hall are excellent, when it so quiet you could hear a pin drop from anywhere within the hall. The architecture is amazing it's a place that you want to be in all you definitely want to visit Danny Polite, and cordial there and it's in the very easily accessible place in the city. It's such an intimate venue that you almost feel like you're on stage yourself with the artist performing. The interior looks like a piece of art that you yell truly appreciate, but this piece of art was created to give you the highest quality acoustics that you can experience. Treat yourself, buy a ticket to this beautiful concert hall, and if you get the chance, witness the performance of the La Philharmonic Orchestra, they'll blow your mind. One of the most iconic buildings in downtown. This projections they were doing to the beginning of Laffle season were so incredible, and beautiful. It doesn't matter if you go there to play, listen, or just to know the place, Disney Concert Hall is a must-go-in-law. Designed by Frank Gehry, Walt Disney Concert Hall has, along with the Hollywood sign, and the silhouette of City Hall, become a commonly recognized symbol of Los Angeles. The Concert Hall's backyard has a small outdoor amphitheater, a fountain, a park, and various plants all of which complement the structure. Went to see an avant-garde ensemble, and the acoustics were awesome. What they say about not a bad seat in the house is true, and the ambience is very warm, the interior design is comfortable, and people can move to, and from their seats with ease. 
Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and leave your comments below.